find the oblique asymptote of the following function, solution. We know it has an oblique asymptote because the degree in the denominator is 1 and the degree in the numerator is 2, so it's exactly one larger. Whenever it's exactly one larger like this, you will always have an oblique asymptote. To find the oblique asymptote, we'll use long division. So x plus 1 will be divided into x squared minus 3. Now I like to use placeholders, so I like to add my little 0x here because we're missing an x term, minus 3. So you look at this, and you look at this, and you ask yourself, what do you multiply by x in order to get x squared? Well, x. So you put the x here. Then x times x is x squared. x times 1 is positive x. Now, a lot of people switch the signs. What I like to do is draw a little line, put a giant minus sign here, and put parentheses, and then add x squared plus negative x squared is 0. 0x zero plus negative x is negative x and then you bring down the negative 3. Then you repeat the process. What do you multiply by x in order to get negative x? Well, negative 1. So you write the negative 1 here. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Draw the line, put a giant parentheses, giant minus sign and parentheses. Add negative x plus x is 0. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So this function can be rewritten as the quotient plus the remainder over the divisor. But you don't need to do all of that. It's right there. So the oblique asymptote is y equals x minus 1.